In this video, we're going to be doing a grade 12 biology past paper for 2022. We're going to start with question 1. Question 1 says, figure 1.1 1 .1 shows two generalized cells F and G of living organisms. Question 1A1 1 1 says, identify the part labeled H. Okay, so this is the part labeled H, as you can see here. And it's important to notice that this is an animal cell and this is a plant cell. Okay. Um, how did I know that this is an animal cell and this is a plant cell? So the features are different. As you can see, the plant cell, which is cell G, has the vacuole. This the middle part of, of, of the cell. It's actually the largest uh, part of the cell. And then it also has chloroplast let me just chloro plast and then it also has a cell membrane which is this part the inside it also has a cell wall which is this part labeled I. So I'm mentioning these parts even before uh, answering the questions. It's going to help me a lot even before you go to the questions below to know what is happening on top and it's going to be way easier. So there's even a nucleus here. Okay. Yes, so an animal cell, you should notice that an animal cell does not have a cell wall. So this side, this is a cell membrane. Okay. Yes, so question 1A1 one is saying identify the part labeled H. So the part labeled H is the cell membrane. Okay, and then question 1A2 is saying, how does part H differ from I? So we go for part H, where is part H? Okay, so how does part H differ from part I? So the best answer that I'd advise you to use if you are given this question is uh, the cell membrane, the main function for the cell membrane is to allow minerals and water to enter and come out of the cell okay and then for the cell wall the main function of the cell wall is for the structure of the cell and protection okay so for the cell membrane is for So question 1A2 says, how does part H differ from part I? Okay, so as we have mentioned on top, part H is the cell membrane and part I is the cell wall. So the main function of part H, which is the cell membrane, is to allow or to control substances into and out of the cell, okay? To control substances. To control substances into and out of the cell into and out of the cell okay and then for part I the main function of part I is to protect the cell for cell structure and for the protection of the cell okay so cell structure and protection okay and then we go to question 1a3 which says explain the function of structure labeled J 
So the structure labeled J, according to the diagram, is the vacuole, which I already mentioned that is actually the largest part of a plant cell and is found in the center. So the main function of the vacuole is to keep the cells up. You should know that the cell sap contains minerals and water, but that's not really important. This, the moment you say it contains the cell sap, keeps the cells up, then you have your mark. So it, uh, it contains the cell sap. Okay, and then question 1A4 says, to which group of living organisms does cell F belong? And then which one is cell F? Or the first cell, which is this one. So this cell belongs to the animal organisms. Okay. animal organisms or animalia okay then we go to question two so we are going to do question 1b which says Figure 1.2 shows the cell organization levels in multicellular organisms. And we have been given organism, system, M, tissues, K, and organelles. Okay, so what you're supposed to know is that what is an organelle for you to find what K is? Because different organelles are going to make K and K and different Ks are going to make a tissue and then M, system, organism in the same manner okay so i would define an organelle as a subcellular structure that is found in a cell and performs a specific function okay i would just say organelles make up cells okay so from that definition you know that k is actually a cell okay uh, and different examples of organelles, I, I would give um, mitochondria. Yeah, a good example of an organelle is mitochondria. So different mitochondria makes a cell. Okay, and then different cells make tissues. And it's also important to at least know an example of a cell and I would give muscles yes you can use muscles as your example and tissues also the best example for tissues is also muscles okay and different muscles make m which is the an organ okay so m here is actually an organ okay and then different organs make up a system and different examples for systems actually i forgot to give examples of organs i would say the heart the lung the kidneys we have a lot of organs in our bodies and different types of system that i would mention um the digestive system the circulatory system to mention but a few and then different systems make an organism for example a human being okay question 1b1 says identify the parts labeled k and m and we've already labeled these parts so part k is the cell or cells and m is an organ or organs Okay, and then 1B2 says, state the level of cell organization at which muscles would be found. So I was saying it's important that when you are given an organization like that one, to know what everything is or examples found in it, so that you would answer the questions that are coming below easier. So I remember saying 
a smooth muscle in a, is an example of a tissue. So here, the answer is tissue. It's among the tissues. Okay, and then 1B3 says, give one example of a system in plants and in animals. Okay, and then in plants, we have a shoot system and a root system, which when, whichever one is comfortable with you. So shoot system, shoot system or root system. Okay. So the shoot system, from the name, it's from the shoot. It deals with uh, the reproductory part, um, the respiration and everything. And then the root system deals with the stability of the plant. Okay. And then for animals, we actually have a lot of systems. We have the circulatory system. Okay. Circulatory. Uh, we have the digestive system. We have the reproductory system. We have the respiratory system. We actually have a lot of systems. You can use any of those. And then, yeah.